Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And then he even doubled down and said that, you know, there's always haters and there's always naysayers and they're wrong eight out of 10 times. You know, well, let's think about your last four fights with Deontay Wilder since you became, tra since you became his trainer, right? You were, you were one for three. You know what I'm sorry, one for four, excuse me, one for four. You 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 won uh you, you won one fight against Robert Herlanius and you lost the other three. You know what I'm saying? So one out of four, that's a twenty-five percent uh odds. You know what I'm saying? You're only right twenty-five percent of the time. So if people are wrong eight out of ten of the time, that means they're right twenty percent of the time. So you being a former fighter and a trainer and you're only right five more percent, twenty-five compared to twenty, huh? that's not really that, that good, is it? You know, <laughs> that's not that big of a difference. So you're telling me that you training Deontay Wilder is only five percent better than me training Deontay Wilder as a fan? Hmm. You ain't think about those numbers, huh? You had one job. Just the one. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. We got some news coming from the Deontay Wilder camp. Well, in my opinion, it's pretty disturbing news, but it's nothing less than what's expected, right? You know, he's um, he's he's, he's saying he's going to have a comeback, you know? Well, more specifically, his trainer, Malik Scott, who has done a phenomenal job with him. Bullshit! Bullshit! You know, um, uh, being one in one, one in three in his last four fights with 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 the ex champ and uh, uh, future Hall of Famer Deontay Wilder. You know, he he said he has declared that um, that Deontay Wilder will be coming back. You know, what I'm saying he said he'll let me switch over here. Uh, he said he will be coming back, um, and there's still big fights out out there for him, mega fights, and he included AJ and Francis Ngannou and some other top fighters. You know, what I'm saying, and I think this is very disturbing because. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's nothing less than to be expected. You know, I always gave Billy Scott the benefit of the doubt. You know, sometimes a boxer and a trainer, no matter how good the boxer was, is or how good the trainer is, it just doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's okay. So I never was too hard on him. But, you know, now it's just ridiculous, man. I got to I gotta say my piece. And I'm sorry about the noise. Uh, my neighbor's cutting the grass or whatever. Um, it's like they hear me. It's like they hear me go live. And that's when they start cutting the grass. <laughs> That's what it feels like, right? That's not really the truth, but that's what it feels like. But yeah, so Malik Scott has 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 said that you know um, that that there's still some big fights out there, you know, and 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 um, he didn't give any indication of a tune up or anything like that. And then he even doubled down and said that you know there's always haters and there's always naysayers, and they're wrong eight out of ten times. You know, well, let's think about your last four fights with Deontay Wilder since you became tra since you became his trainer, right? You were you were one for three. You know, I'm sorry, one for four. Excuse me, one for four. You 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 won. Uh, you, you won one fight against Robert Herlanius and you lost the other three. You know what I'm saying? So one out of four, that's a 25 percent uh, odds. You know what I'm saying? You're only right 25 percent of the time. So if people are wrong eight out of ten of the times, that means they're right 20 percent of the time. So you being a former fighter and a trainer and you're only right five more percent, 25 compared to 20. That's not really that, that good, is it? You know, <laughs> that's not that big of a difference. So you're telling me that you training Deontay Wilder is only five percent better than me training Deontay Wilder as a fan? You dumbass. Hmm. You ain't think about those numbers, huh? The percentages. But so yeah, I just think it's very uh, shameful, man. I mean, if you look at their, their 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 lives right now, you know, with with Malik Scott recently getting married. Big salute to him and his marriage. You know, his his bride to be. He's get recently getting married. Uh, uh, Deontay Wilder's wife just put a restraining order on him. You know, what I'm saying I'm not putting in anybody's business. I'm just saying how different, how how. how the contrast between where they're at in their lives right now currently you know what i'm saying somebody just got married somebody's on the verge of divorce and then we got the other person coming off of a, a bad losses for his career and and, and going seem, seemingly on a downward spiral and we got malik scott still having his name in the tabloids and, and, and seemingly coming up man it seems like he still wants to sacrifice deontay wilder i volunteer i volunteer as tribute and use his name for the betterment of his own career. And that's, that's why I think this is, man. You know, um, I think he's getting paid, he's getting compensated handsomely and he wants to just put Deontay Wilder through anything at, 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 in regard to uh, uh, um, um, his welfare, you know, and I, that, that's not right in my opinion. So can Deontay Wilder bounce back? Of course, you know, we want to see that, but we want to see it happen uh, progressively, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's a process, like maybe have him get a couple of tune-up fights and then go challenge AJ if you want to, or Fra challenge Francis Ngannou, but nobody in their right mind will see his performance uh, uh, at, uh, against Zayli Zhang after he got obliterated, didn't even know who hit him. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, turn around, what, what you doing? Oh, Lord. What you doing? What was the boy's doing? Is this no. What was he doing? It's over.
over. He ain't getting up, bro. He got up. He got up. He got up. Oh, they it's over. It's over, bro. He knew it was over, bro. Then he turned around like Zap Judah. Yo, that nigga turned around. What's he doing? <laughs> That's bro, that, that, bro. He ain't know who hit him. <laughs> he ain't know who hit him. It's crazy. <laughs> what was he, he doing? He said, I looked at the ref like, nigga, why you hit me? Bro, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was looking around at the ref like, well, who, who hit me? Or he had something in his eye. It doesn't matter. The fact that he turned around is is, 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 is is a danger in itself, man. And he got knocked out in devastating fashion. And then his fight before that was against Joseph Parker, where he just looked like a punching bag. He didn't throw any 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 hands, let alone his right hand. And he didn't show off, uh, uh, showcase his athleticism. So he looks like a shell of himself. Anybody that fights Deontay Wilder is doing it for name only now. And I think that anybody that's at the top of the sport who's still calling out Deontay Wilder, like AJ, if he's calling him I think that's shameful. Uh, of course, nobody in their right mind would think that he would have a chance against AJ right now. You know, Deontay Wilder just hasn't been the same. And um, but does his name still is, is his name still an attraction? Yeah, of course. But we're talking about from a from a caring standpoint and the fact that we want him to and all the other fighters to, to keep their faculties intact after departing from boxing. Because, yeah, boxing is fun and, and you guys should make a lot of money and it's great for my entertainment. But at the same time, you don't want to see somebody get a uh, um, uh, uh, at least I don't want to see somebody put their potential life and welfare in jeopardy, you know what I'm saying, for my entertainment or, or for Malik Scott's pockets in, in his case, you know, and I, I think it's bad. And Malik Scott even said that, you know, the people are, are, are haters and naysayers and, you know, everybody said Muhammad Ali was going to lose against George Foreman. Rest in peace, the greatest, you know what I'm saying, for him to even bring up Muhammad Ali is, is just let you know how desperate he is and how much he's reaching. Um, Last time I checked, Muhammad Ali, when he fought George Foreman in, in the most famous rumble in the jungle, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Zaire, Africa, you know what I'm saying, big up my African brethren and sister, um, Zaire, which is um, known as the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo currently. Big big salute to Bacoli, you know what I'm saying? The big man Bacoli, the bad man, you know. Um, but yeah, he said that uh, Muhammad Ali going to fight George Foreman was doubted. Yes, that's true. But you know what else? Mah Muhammad Ali wasn't coming off a devastating knockout. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't coming off a devastating lockout loss. In fact, he wasn't coming off a two uh, uh, two losses in a row. In fact, he was on a win streak. The exact opposite of what Deontay Wilder is. Deontay Wilder has lost two fights in a row, right? Zhang and Parker, right? And one was a brutal knockout. Muhammad Ali just avenged his split decision loss to Ken Norton. And he was on a three-fight win streak before he went on to beat George Foreman. Come on, man. What are we doing? So there's, there's nothing in common besides the fact that they're both black and they're both heavyweights. <laughs> That's it. So he's just reaching, man. I think it's terrible. And I wish Deontay Wilder could hear this. I'm not saying as a hater or Deontay. Deontay Wilder is a future Hall of Famer, whether you like him or not. I think Deontay Wilder is a beast. Bomb squad. I love Bronze Bomber. But I just think at this point in his career, unless he shows us that he's capable of competing in a safe manner at the highest level, and he could do that by fighting some tune-ups and some... Um, mid-tier fighters and then get gain some traction then unless he does that i think he should stay away from the ring right now because i think it's very dangerous for him and, and that's just my opinion but you do what you want to do you know it's hard to tell somebody not to do what they love especially when you're getting paid handsomely for it and we see uh, uh the, the greats um just fight too long and go out go out in a bad way you know what i'm saying speaking of ali you know ali fought a little bit too long started losing people we didn't expect him to lose to uh same with pacquiao uh same with uh, roy jones same with um uh, 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 Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? The greats like that. A lot of times, the James Tony, they hang on a little too long. They, you just hate to see it. You know, you want to remember them as the legends that they are, and um, not not uh, the fighter that's losing to people that 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 we feel like we could beat from 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 the comfort of our, of our own home, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you think um, Malik Scott is doing this for selfish reasons? Do you think he has the best interest of Deontay Wilder uh, uh, in his mind or in his heart, or do you think it's just a money grab, man? I think it's the latter, man. I think it's a money grab. I think he he doesn't care about Deontay Wilder at all. I think this is this is a testament to that, and I think it's very much indicative of that. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets